Hey, welcome back. It's Ryan Anderson with the Anderson Group here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, excited to share with you my thoughts about buying and selling real estate in the wintertime. As you know, my saying is it's never a bad time to buy real estate. Uh, <laughs> it's just always a bad time to uh, not buy real estate and it just grows. You know, real estate will double every 20 years. So now we're in the winter time and people often think, well, it's not a hot time. It's not a great time to sell real estate. Well, what, what's happening during real estate in the winter time? You got Thanksgiving usually, and you got Christmas. You got a lot of family parties. You got a lot of traveling. You got skiing in Colorado, and you got school being out. So there's a lot of off time, right? A lot of off time to do a lot of nothing. Uh, sports are almost always kaput during that time. A lot of weird school systems, all are different, right? So why wouldn't real estate be a good time to buy right now? Well, here's a couple of facts. One, all the high price stuff sells a lot during the summer. It's the height of the market, right, in terms of inventory. So you get a lot of high price sales, a lot of stuff that sells real quick. So when an appraiser appraises a house in the wintertime, where is he pulling comps from? From the summertime, for the last six months. So all those high price sales are your comps. So you're in the wintertime, you're in November, December, and you're thinking, well, what's my house worth? You're only looking six months back. So prices are at their all time high. You have an opportunity to capitalize on that. And you've got people out of school, people out of work, you know, on vacation, looking for houses to buy right now. And thirdly, if somebody is buying a house in the wintertime, it means they really need a house because they're not taking vacation. They're like, I gotta move whether they're being relocated or they're transferring schools or they just are upsizing or downsizing, they need to move. And so it's a great time for that classic business model, buy high, sell low, sell when the demand is high, right? Sell when people really need it. And if somebody's trying to sell in the wintertime, they need to sell. So if you're thinking about buying in the wintertime, think about those qualities. If you're thinking about selling in the wintertime, the, the pros to that are a couple that I mentioned that you're, you're gonna use the comps from before, you're, from, from the summertime. You're gonna have the beauty of decorations and Christmas decorations or holiday decorations, Thanksgiving decorations. It's gonna look great. You're gonna have lights out. It's gonna be the best it looks all year. Uh, you're, you're gonna have buyers on the, on the, on the flip side in the winter, sellers who want to sell have to sell. Buyers who want to buy have to buy. So it's a very high demand time if things are moving. As always, location is everything. So if you don't have a super awesome location for the winter time, you might want to wait until summer. But at the same time, know that the demand will be there and will be really, really high. Uh, lastly, the secret to buying real estate, the secret to real estate is to buy and, and never sell. Uh, so if you're thinking about, you know, do I sell my house right now or do I move? Um, there's always the, the option of renting it out. Uh, so, so you can always talk to us about that. Should I rent instead of sell? Can I afford to do that? There's always room to talk about that. If there's any other questions you have, please give me a call. Wouldn't hesitate to talk to you about all these options. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.